Yeah, ain't no friends on. Ain't no friends on. I've been ballin' like the ends on. Yeah. Smoke a pack soon as I get home. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, bro, y'all are not gonna. First of all, if anybody tuning in, everybody, welcome back. If you're on YouTube, welcome back. Y'all are not gonna believe what I did, bro. I was recording half of the video, no headset on, steady talking to y'all, bro. I, <laughs> I hope nobody saw that because it was embarrassing as hell. I went ahead and hurried up and deleted that bitch. So we back, bro. We back. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to watch the same scene over and over again. Hopefully, this is the last time. I hope y'all having a good day. What's up? Yakuza Like a Dragon Part 3. Let's continue for the third time for the first time. Maybe they... Nope. Nope. I'm still on the... I don't want to skip it for y'all, but it's like, I've seen it so much, bro. Like, it's crazy. All right, so we gotta make. Oh no no no! Okay, we good. So we heard the boss chatter about his life and his wife and how he lost his kid. Well, basically, he he hit his his wife hit the kid in a locker outside of a train station, and they went and found the kid but the kid organs had failed and the kids organs had the kid organs had failed so he that's how he became that's how his son became paralyzed pretty much y'all like i cannot believe i was recording that whole shit and like i was recording the whole thing and like I swear, I swore I was talking to y'all, bro. Like, it was crazy. That shit crazy. But, at least we got here. I guess it automatically saved, so... Y'all ain't miss much. But this goofy... I don't like him, y'all. Like, he seemed like he cool, but it's like... Ichi is like... I don't know. The employees are probably at home, waiting to bring it in with their families. Man... Yeah, bro, it's New Year's. Like, relax, bro. People are at home. Well, I guess I don't know what those people are doing out. Maybe it's like... What is the New Year's thing? Like, Black Friday or some shit? I don't know, y'all. You won't get away from us next time. Have a good New Year's, you two. Ichibaba, what have I told you? I don't get him, y'all. Like... I don't get him. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time I have I should laugh with his team is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. Why are you throwing up gang signs to pedestrians that's trying to enjoy the holidays? Like, what? we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Odin place? That's where we should have went in the first place. Instead of coming to this closed ass abandoned building. Alright. I'm done, y'all. I don't get I don't get these people like I don't get these characters. They just be doing like crazy shit, bro. This nigga got this Undertaker ass outfit on, bro. Now what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to Who is this? Who is this? You got an all plaid suit on, bro. Relax. Don't like, what is he talking about? Not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. Hmm. Got to go back to the hood, bro. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. 
no matter how Bro, you don't have to go back. Don't let nobody pressure you into going back, bro. Especially if it's a bad environment. You know it's crazy out there, bro. If you already in a, if you in a good spot and you don't want to have to deal with, you know what I'm saying, bullshit, bro. Live your life, bro. Live your life in peace. If you want to go back and see people, go back. See people, this and that. But, bro, enjoy your journey, bro. Don't let nobody tell you you got to go back. Um, here's what it is, bro. But be thankful that you came from somewhere. Twenty-three years ago, on and learn from it. You feel me? I came into this world screaming inside this crazy soap. I say that because some people might have not grew up in such great places like Itchy. Like, who wants to go back and remember that trauma? You feel me? Even pop me out. Then she disappeared. Damn. See what I mean? I didn't know that until I was older, when Dad told me. And I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soap room that took me in. I don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you. Wham bam thank you, ma'ams, bro. They can be good and bad. It's a gift and a curse. Remember to wrap that wrap it up bro wrap it up if you're a kid don't even worry about it but 18 and up wrap it up while well, y'all little youngins bro y'all need to go go do some positive go read a book or something bro i don't do all that stream or something bro don't don't be trying no way i'm bound thank you man because y'all don't be ready for the consequences let's continue hey can someone keep an eye on ichiban oh, lord Lord. Look at them two. Um, um, each you got. Mm. I was raised by this city's working class folks. Okay, so then the people, your people, the people in the in the streets. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum too. You see what I mean, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna stop pausing, bro. But it's some messages in this, bro. Like, how do people, how they scum, bro? They raised you. You wouldn't even be here if it weren't for them. Like, if if they would have abandoned you, who knows where you could be right now? And just like the boss said, then that means I'm scum too, bro. Because I'm basically, you know what I'm saying? Helping raise you, bro. It's all about perception, bro. It's all about perception. What? Never. You're everything I want to be. You're like a god. See what I mean? Perception. Perception, y'all. So, first, I'm a king. And now, I'm a god. He is kind of net riding a little too. See what I mean, bro? What is he? He hugging. He's hugging balls. I mean, maybe that's like a father figure. I, don't, I mean, maybe that's a respect you, thing. But I like, bro, you can like your own sig, my nigga. Like, come on. Like, I don't know. I don't know about all that. <laughs> After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Hmm. Picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. Whoa! But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, messaging I get bro. The wrong guy, a yakuza. This nigga said he beat up a yakuza. So, yeah, his crew locked me in a yakuza. Oh my guy! I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whisper threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza, who they were at the time, but I knew that name. 
thought if I name drop them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. He done yelled out the ops name. Rats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name is Ichiban Kasuka. Oh, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him on again. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Mm. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. I got one woman. I'm damn. My tongue tied. I got my window open, y'all. So it's like. Sorry, I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids. Oh, he popped up. Arakawa son, the little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? What? I trade you my finger for him. Oh, he. Sound fair? I'll just follow this. Reaper, what's going on? What just happened? <sighs> All right then. Let's oh, bro. What? It's going crazy. <laughs> what? You, this shit is wild. You saved my life. Why? How can I thank you? Oh. Save your brother in gratitude. Who is this guy? Like Jeepers Creepers? Like this nigga cutting off his own fingers and punching people? Like who is this? Bro. Russ, reputation is everything. My face. My name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return to you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. Mm. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's friend. Okay. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Yeah. Why not do that? Why not? I would have. I would have did it. Maybe I would have did it. Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, okay. I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. I don't know about that, but uh, all right. Do you? Where the cock? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa. Back the fuck up. Wow. Wow. How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind. Down, bro. I didn't care how often they ignored me. Somebody report him to CPS or something like he can't be he just kicking kids around like the bro. The scorching sun. Bro, while you was doing all that, you could have just went to like McDonald's and just like got a job or some shit, bro. Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir. I had a foster dad, but he's dead now. Hmm. Yo, this storyline is crazy, y'all. Like, I'm so wrapped up in the storyline, I don't even care about the gameplay. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just watching. Come on. 
Man, what so, is what are people sending me? It been one hundred days since I'm getting text messages, y'all. Kind of getting ready to smash. I'm kind of ready to smash people. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. So what is about to be 2001 on here? Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! What's going on? Hey, what y'all doing you over there, bro? Alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Man, that shiny no. puffer dude, Twins get out of here. Like okay, he got like bape on. Let's okay, he's bathing so eight. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> the society that has to do the cleaning up. Hold on, hold on. What's going on? Hey, we ain't gonna let we ain't gonna let the boss do it, is it? And I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in hospital bed. He's talking big shit too. Whoa! This mug got like eight earrings in one ear, bro. Who the fuck are you? He does not have room for anybody anymore. Like good boys. Whoa. Get right. Are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> they gotta be. Hey, he kinda He's big though, like right? Pause, but he like Yeah. Plus they're wearing costumes straight. It's a big dude. We might have to you know what I'm saying? Fuckers better not be making fun of us. Hey boss, leave this to me. You always wanna be the one, bro. By yourself, dog. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> Just wait till you see what I can do. Alright, Reaper, I'm sorry I missed some of your things, but yeah, have a good trip to the store. Oh shit, what's going on? Uh I'm gonna beat his ass. He's small. He out of here. Look at him, bro. Y'all some chunks. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's do something to him. Come on. Pause, pause, pause. Boss, you got me. You see me? You see me? Skips around like a jackass. Oh, snap. This is like some Pokemon type of shit. Boss, get out of the way. Boss, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, shit. Man, let's beat this nigga. Oh, he walking back toward the boss. Nah, you ain't doing all that, bro. Slugging. Appreciate the alert, Reaper. We didn't get nothing from that battle, bro. Who is this guy? He's crazy. Okay, Drop so their ass. <laughs> get away from me! Hey, come on, at least thank the boss. Right, we tried to help you. We should have just, just nah, we ain't gonna say that, but come on, bro. We tried to help. Yeah. Boss always on that Yakuza no. shit, bro. I'll see you later, you And then he leaves the after he see me getting a squabble with two dudes. Like, come on. Miss it for the world. Good night, boss. You too. Such a How he ain't even do nothing, bro. But I guess he kind of cool, though. He kind of cool. He ain't squabble, though. Okay. Okay. Two. One. 2001, baby.
super beer? <laughs> what? Come on, y'all could have came up with a better name. Like, is that like a real brand? I don't drink beer, so I, you know, I don't know. Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up now. Oh my god, this nigga, bro. Oh shit. I fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Messy identification? Identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Oh my god, who is this guy? How is your wallet gone, bro? And you don't know. Like, were you drunk or did you just fall asleep? Like, what happened? Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. Do you want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? Y'all, I think I'm gonna have to close this blind soon because this sign is beaming on me right now. I don't know why it's beaming on me like this. Like, it's beaming though. And the blinds aren't all the way like open. They're just like barely open, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get this out of here. All right, that's a little better. I'm not liking this music, though. It sounds like we're going to be, um, oh, shit. Adult goods, what? crime yeah so I mean but they wouldn't be like trying to like the back streets oh god why bro why do I have to take the back streets I haven't even done anything bro I got here quick though I'm kind of getting the hang of the um the map now. What? Arakawa, and don't you forget it. You did. How about you don't forget your place? You you just asked my nigga. The Sakaki family, dumbass. Oh, so what is it like a? Oh shit! They pulled out the blades. They pulled out the blades, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to get them going quick. We're gonna have to get them going quick. We're gonna have to get them going quick. They pulling out blades. And I do not know how to block at all in this game. Ooh! Oh, shit. Okay, I weed one of them. But your ass finna get beat, bro. You ain't have to do me like that. Okay, alright. Weed, let's. Ooh! Alright. Okay, am I is am I doing it or like What? You scared of somebody mad dogging you? Man, I'm weaving you bitch ass niggas. It's over with for you. Now what you wanna do? You kicked your own partner? Yeah, let me eat one of these. Bruh. 
Bro, you gotta go. Oh, he level two. Oh, I can stomp him while they down. Okay, we leveling up. That's what I need to see. Really? Y'all out here like the temptations, bro. Get out of here. Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sokaki going on. A bunch of church suits. Like, what are they, like, what are they on? Stopping me from going to this place of business. Because we're not doing nothing illegal in there. At all. Bro, what's going on with you? You got bottles and cigs everywhere, like. Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakaki family, right? Yeah, I just, yeah. Mm. I just beat like four of them niggas the almost to death. They're connected to the Omi. But aren't they Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But so what was the point of to the only for some quick easy cash? What? I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, Oh, they really not gonna like us now. To our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said, did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot the Sakaki Yakuza. What? Apparently, Damn, Joe's standing on Binny. <laughs> they were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then Joe pulled his gun. Why Joe ain't go head up? No one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. What? If word gets out that our captain killed someone from family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tokyo. Oh my god. Our tiny family will go up in smoke. So what do we do? You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't really like Joe. He's an asshole. To me, anyway. Get him out of here. Let me take his place. In other words. Would you be willing to take his place? Ha! I told you, bro. I just said it. I just said it. Let him go, bro. I can be the captain. Ichi got this, bro. We got it. This is what you wanted, bro. Step up. I've been waiting for a shot like this. Right. Big swag, big bag. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. 
After everything you've done for me. Bro, just accept the job. My God. Let him lock me up for ten or even twenty years. What? I'd be happy to do it for you. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. He's crying after he's saying lock me up for 20 years. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Can we get a new suit? Happy birthday, Aniki. Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. We made it to a new century. I'm beat bouncing now too. <laughs> you go have to call me sir. Pretty bored for a birthday boy. What's up with you? Are you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about you come around again? You do it and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. Your year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. No. We work 365 days a year. So you're going to be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20. really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great Damn, bro. Dude. What are you getting at? All right, what's up with him? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Uh, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. Gatorades, bro. It's like I'm playing. It's like I'm playing a sport. <laughs> A beef bowl. I feel like we'll be better off cutting through here. So let's talk about this while we walk. The boss asked me to be a captain. I I'm guessing that I I'm guessing that I um obliged. I'm guessing I, I said yeah. Hopefully I said yeah. Like bro, like I said, this is basically what he's been saying. He's been waiting for. He's been wanting to do this. He's been wanting to pay the boss back for everything he's done to you. <laughs> All that crybaby shit, you feel me? So it's like, this your per this your perfect time, bro. Oh my God, who are these guys? Oh my God, I'm surrounded. I'm gonna have to go this way. But yeah, the boss was like, you know, ask them to be captain because Joe shot a nigga. Like, Joe is out here mobbing. He shot somebody, y'all. Like, he shot a, he shot somebody. He shot somebody. So it's like... <laughs> now it's my turn. But I mean, I don't, nobody know about it, so I don't know why he replaced Joe. Like, but I guess Joe gotta go on the run from all the families. Damn, he said a beef bowl, bro. You ate four. Who are you, fucking Naruto? Might be my last view as a free man. Is it Naruto or Naruto? I say it both ways. Sometimes I say it one way, sometimes I say it. Yo, hit me with one more. Dog. <laughs> sure, coming right up. Another beef ball. Them bitches must be blessed. me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? What? Banished? What happened? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have nearly expelled you. But this man, not only was he tortured, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. What? Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the camp. What? 
Wait a minute, what's going on? I thought he asked me to be the captain. Was that like a flashback or something? Am I going to jail, bro? You gotta savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> no stop. Bro was like, dude, it's just a beef bowl. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> just some ramen. Hey, buddy. Did you ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. Wait a minute, did he want me to take a, like, the fall? Did he want me to take the fall from the dude? Oh my, bro, am I taking a fall for Joe? Is that what's, is that what's going on? We find the defendant, Ichiban Kai. Oh my God. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. Bro, what just happened? I thought he wanted me to be the captain. Did I miss something? Like, what the hell? Is this what I had to do to be the captain? They just gave me 15 years in the cam, bro. What is going on? For the family, nigga. Y'all. Y'all. I'm confused, bro. I, I don't know what just happened. I don't know what just happened, y'all. I really don't know what just happened like is this like part of what I gotta do because this is crazy like am I like what's happening I'm in the pen, bro. I'm in the pen, bro. Bro. I'm in the pen, bro. How? See, he already, bro. So they gave me 15. This 2020, this 2002, like. Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. Oh, bro, I ain't doing your shit, bro. Do your own boss. Do something. Do something about it then. Okay, bet. Bet. Bro, I hope it's no kind of crazy stuff. Like, I don't know what's happening. I'm just telling y'all, I don't know what's happening. What's going on here, bro? I'm only one year in. I want to touch this guy. Pause. I want to. No, 
got much to say. We got to throw the dukes up. Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Arakawa, hey. nigga. The Arakawa family. What's up? Arakawa? Yeah. <laughs> What's good? Hold on. He laughed? Whoa. Oh, man. This is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. You do got a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small type punks. Oh, he, 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 Pause. I'm going to have to beat him. For that washed up has been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's fucking cute. Yeah, I got like a gray head. I'm not even old, bro. Like, what's going on? Oh my god. Is that a hot dog bun? Bro, did they give me a hot dog bun, bro, and a carton of milk? Do not go to jail, people. Do not go to jail. Like, what the hell? What? Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. I wish I could have saw it. I wish I could have done it. Talk shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody. Saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> Well, what's he going to say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. To how long, sir? I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. Bro, did you see what they were when like? Someone believes in you. Try not to disappoint them. Make it so. And a hole is that hole the toilet? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Fifteen years later, my nigga. Number 1119. Letter for you. Oh, they scared. Apparently, it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa san. Dear Ichibama. I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hasn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. So how long do I have? I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. The days have been so lonely without you. What? Sir, Sometimes relax. I, think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. You put me here, bro. You the one told me to do this, bro. I didn't even. It was Joe. You let me take the file for Joe, bro. Only a parent knows 
was all truly empty, a home can feel. Man, so fuck this dude. Fuck this dude. You crying? I don't like this guy. Okay. Okay. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that pick and duck we missed. Bet. Cause I've been eating hot dogs. Buns. I'm so sorry. When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. Bro, why are you waiting? What are you doing? Three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid. I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now. I'm finally back. Man, this guy needs a girl. Like, he needs a girlfriend or something, bro. No welcome home party? I just took 18 years for y'all. It's 2019. You know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws. It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. Oh nah, y'all, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta find out what's going on here. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Bro, don't shoot me off, nigga. Who are you? Yeah. Thanks for everything. Did y'all see him just like shoot me off just now? Yeah, I did. Is that my boy? Bro. Of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you got. Waiting for a boss that never even... That ain't my boy, is it? Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. What, bro? What you on? Detective. I like used to be. Now I'm just a washed-up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. Well, what do you want? What do you want, sir? What is it? Come to remind me to renew my license. Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer, who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Uh, well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shut up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarancho after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La soap land. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. What? That is, by the book, you dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Well, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Dojo clan's Arakawa family, well, until the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years in this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. 
You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? Right, get off my balls. I just do my homework. Great. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? Why are you worried about where I'm at, bro? What I'm doing, bro? Just leave me alone. Right, back up. Oh, Okay, fucking polite jacket on, dog. It very much is. Not personal, of course. Now you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? The? Whatever. Do what you want, man. What was you, the uh, Tuskegee Airmen, bro? Like what? The years have been. I thought it was my boy. I was about to say the years have been hard for bro. But that's not him. That's not him, y'all. Oh my god. I like it though, Flag. It's just when you ask for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The truth is, I've never done one before. Shorty, what is... How am I supposed to face the boss with a rat and stuff like that? Itchy, it's hard though. Who is this nigga, bro? Why you got on wrestling? Why you got on like motor biker gloves and you in the car? Like, get out of here. That dusty ass denim on. <laughs> what kind of Fake ass Rolex. Shut up. I just ended up with a bad barber is all. How's your deal anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you. I have business with you. Bro, you ain't got no business with me, G. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. All my Gatorade is gone, y'all. Uh, I wondered where you were going. Cheap cow Suzumori is great, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family. And I just, I, I was so mad, I just did it. You, you killed, killed someone, someone just because you were pissed off. off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that amateur. Bro, why are you still I here? Sure, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. Do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. Everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, the jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit the next con. Come get with me on YouTube, Bright Gaming. What the hell's your angle here, man? My Twitch, Bright Gaming. Well, everything Bright Gaming. Is that the boss? That gotta be him. He's the only one that wears that Freddy Cougar uh peacoat. Arakawa son. That's Arakawa. <laughs> Bro, why don't you just walk up right? Who's this dude? That 
guy is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Boy, do not make me have to beat y'all. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. If you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Why would I lie? Why would that be a lie? You'll be glad to see me, so let me through. Why didn't you just call his name out? You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here. Wait until 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today. Right, bro. They've been uh, let, let me do them dirty. Let me do them dirty. They keep pulling out weapons, bro. Y'all guys, look at that big ass knife he got over there. No, him. Yes, him. I gotta get that knife off of him. Yes, sir. Can I not pick it up? Oh, perfect guard. Oh. Yo, put them dukes on him. Put them dukes on him. Oh, shit. My boy is just in. Oh, God. Over with. Do I not get any items? Like, what's going on? Did he got? Do he put a blick out? Oh, you want some more? Enough, Hey, fellas, we're sorry. Okay? Well, my friend here, he's he's a little crazy. That's all. What? The hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Hey, pulled the blick on me, bro. Why did, bro? Did, I got so many questions here, like. What? Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? How would he not recognize you? You got the same suit on and everything, bro. Shit. He sent me a letter in prison. I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. He is. He definitely He's in denial. Pretty sure your eyes met too. No, he didn't! I understand that it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here. And hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. What? 
Listen here, old timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? Bro, you've been gone for 18 years. The Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family, the Tojo clan. greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K plan. What? what the hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? That shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't. What the hell? I haven't even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamacho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about Me? Drive, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to Oh my us. god, the no boss done sold down. out, y'all. He done sold Nothing us out. You. you okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, yeah. didn't think so. Our Kawasan defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You 18 saw years it. can change. Was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it. That guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear. He's wearing the same Jeepers Creepers outfit he's been wearing his whole series, bro. You're in denial. I... We must have misheard him. Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho. We're going to Yoko. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho. I told you, there's nothing for you there. Come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, the two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Right, nigga, I'm Yakuza. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon, uh, yeah. Kanagawa Prefecture. My jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. What? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga, if you won't come the easy way, 
I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop, you're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? See right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? To hell if I don't pray. Kamurocho, obviously. Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. You are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga, there's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. Damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. He's talking about I gotta see for himself, bro. You can't kidnap nobody 18 years out of prison and try to take them to a whole nother city. Like, bro, what kind of cop are you, bro? But what's wrong with this guy? I don't get it. He's going to kidnap me right out of prison. Like, bro, who are you, sir? You could have had a fake badge or anything. Like, nigga, get out of here. Damn. <sighs> it's really Camarucho, but everything's so different now. First things first, I need to stop by the office. Okie dokie, y'all. Listen, bro, that's where we gonna save it at. We gonna save it right here, y'all. Stay tuned for part four. Like, it's getting good, y'all. It's getting good. Like, I did 18 years, came back out. The boss act like he didn't even know who I was, bro. Like, come on, bro. He tweaking on me. But maybe when I go to the office in the next episode, maybe I'll find some clues. Maybe I'll find some answers to the questions that I'm looking for. Maybe we can finally figure out what's going on with the Omi and with the with the Tojo. Like, what's going on? Like, did they, like, absorb all the clans? Did they kill all the clans off? Did they kick them out of the city? Like, what's going on? But look. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Y'all stay tuned for part four. It'll come out in a few days or so. I don't know. But yeah, peace and I'll holla at y'all.